Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In this lecture today, we will find out the uh, support reaction, the shear force and bending moment diagram for this overhanging beam. So here we have a beam where there is a 3 kN per meter load is acting on the overhanging portion of the beam. You see here and there is a 4 meter length of overhanging portion and the 4 meter length of simply supported but on simply supported there is no, there is no load acting on the beam and also we have two support reaction A and B so now to find out first of all the support reaction here this one so it will be RA and RB first we have to find out this support reaction and then we can go to shear force and bending moment diagram so for to find out the support reactions you can use the summation of moment equation at any point equal to zero. Let's suppose summation of moment at point B at this point equal to zero. In the clockwise moment, let's assume it is positive. In the anti-clockwise, let's assume it is negative. Now, we have different loads acting on this beam. So how to find out the moment at point B? So first of all, take out this force that creates a moment about point B. It is acting in upward direction. So it will create the moment in a clockwise direction about point B. So it will be positive because clockwise is positive. So moment is equal to the force into moment arm. So force is here RA. So RA multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this point, from the force, from the force point till to the point where your load, your, you want to find out the moment. So it is the distance from this point to point B, which is 4 meter. Now also there is another load that acting the that producing the moment about point B and that is this 3 kN per meter and if we transfer this or change this load into pointed load this is uniformly distributed load so we have to change it to pointed load and this pointed load will act now at the centroid of this load so it means it will act at the centroid so the fourth 4 is the total length so it means at 2 meter it will act at this point and 2 meter also from this point so how to change this uniformly distributed load into pointed load? So we have to simply multiply it with the distributed length which is 4 meter. So this load is acting in the downward direction and creating the moment in the clockwise direction again. So it will be again positive. So plus force, force is 3 multiplying it with the distributed length which is 4 meter because this length is, this force is distributed over a 4 meter length. So 3 into 4 is the force. Multiplying it with the moment arm, the moment arm is the distance from the point load to the point where you want to find out the moment. So this is half of 4 which is 2 meter here, 2 meter. So these are summation of moment at point B equal to 0. So we will get here now the support RA for RA. Now if we shift these all values into the right side, so we will get here minus 24 kilonewton. So dividing this by 4, so we will get minus 24 divided by 4 we get here minus 6 kilonewton now what does it mean by minus 6 kilonewton it means that our assumed direction was wrong this assume which was acting in the upper direction was wrong so we have to change the direction here and we have to remove this and we have to make it down here like this way so now it is ra is equal to the 6 kilonewton so this minus sign shows that our assumed direction was wrong and we have to change its direction. Now if you calculate the moment, so it will become positive. So it is minus 6. Now how to find out the RB? So we can use simply summation of vertical force is equal to 0. Upper force is acting positive and downward force is acting is negative. So what are the upper forces? The upper forces are only RB. So it is positive. The downward forces are RA so minus RA and RA is 6 kN we know this and minus this load is also acting in downward direction which is a uniformly distributed load so it is 3 kN per meter multiplying it with the total length on which it, it is distributed so it is distributed on 4 meter so it is 4 so summation of all the vertical force is equal to 0 so now by shifting this value into the right side so we will get RB and it comes out to be 6 plus 12 here and Rb comes out to be 18 kN. 
So this is the support reaction Rb in 16 kilonewton is the value of the Rb, sorry 18 kilonewton. And now here is there is no negative sign, it means that our assumed direction was right. So this is the way how to find out the support reaction. Now we will try to find out its bending moment in Scherfer's diagram. So how to do it? So the support reaction here at this point was 6 kN acting in downward direction and this was in upward direction which was 18 kN. Now first we have to draw the reference lines for the shear force in bending moment diagram. These are the reference lines, it means these are the important lines. For example, this is for shear force and this is for bending moment here. So for shear force it will be in kN and for bending moment it will be in kN meter. So now we have to change the color in order to differentiate between these values in these points. So this is shear force, zero, 00 reference lines. To find out the shear force now, we know that this load 6 kN is acting in downward direction. So we will bring this here in downward direction, 6 units because it is 6. So now there is no load acting on the beam at this portion, so it will be a straight line. And then there is a load of 18 kN or the support reaction acting in upward direction. You see here in upward direction. So this was downward direction. So minus 6 was downward direction plus 18 is upward direction. So we will get here plus 12. So plus 12 means that it will go to the plus 12 units. So it is now plus 12 units moves from the reference lines. Now what is this load which is acting downward direction on the beam? So it is 3 into 4. And it is acting in downward direction so 12 was before plus and now this load is acting in downward direction 3 minus 3 into 4 because it is distributed over 4 length so 12 minus 12 equal to 0 so it means it will bring this shear force to 0 here at this point so now this is the shear force diagram for this uh, for this beam this is negative shear force this is positive shear force here so now how to find out the bending moment so we have to find out the area of the shear force and it will be the bending moment so area of finding the area of this one a1 and finding out the area of this one a2 so we will get our bending moment value now the area of this shear force box is a1 is it is a rectangle you see here base into height the base is 6 here so the height is 6 and the base is 4 meter here so base into height it is rectangle so base is 4 and height is 6 so we got 24 so it is acting in downward direction so we can easily put it here like 24 put it like this in this direction straight line sorry an uh, inclined line so it is 24 now the area of this triangle sorry this triangle so it is triangle so we have to find out the area by this method area is equal to half base into height now what is half base is this distance which is 4 meter the total length 4 multiplied with the height height is 12 so 2 4 will be cancelled to so 2 into 12 we got 24 so again we have 24 kilonewton but kilonewton meter area of this triangle but now you see here that this was in below the reference line and this was above the reference line. So what we do, we have to subtract this 24 from this 24, so we will get 0. So here at this point, the bending moment value will be 0. Because this was acting in downward direction, so we got here 24. But this you see here shear force is acting above the reference line. So it means they are in opposite direction. So if one is 24, so the other will bring it down. So that's why I subtract this 24, this 24 from this 24, from the area of this triangle. So that's why we got the bending moment here below zero at this point. So this is the bending moment diagram for this beam. And also keep in mind that this was a straight line. The shear force was a straight line, zero degree line. So this will be one degree line greater. This is bending moment is always one degree greater than the shear force. So this is zero degree line. This is an inclined line, linear line, one degree. 
Now this is inclined line, one degree line, and this is now parabola, two degree line. So you should always keep these things in mind while drawing the shear force and bending moment diagram. Hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.